Yo guys, what is up? It's Teach here, coming at you again with another video. We are over on Crystal Isles, and I got a video that you are going to like. This one is about rat holes, mesh holes, hiding base locations of just epic proportion that are almost, well, there's literally two or three that are literally unrateable base locations, and somebody, every base is rate, every base is rateable, but not really. And sometimes that's not possible, not without meshing or cheating. So I'm going to go ahead and show you 22 different spots that I have found. And it's going to be, I'm pretty excited. I'm pretty stoked about it. So I'm going to go ahead and drag these uh, actual CCC cords so you can see them on screen as well. I'll leave them there for a second. This is the first one. This was actually shown to me by a player on my cluster. His name is Skull. Uh, so thank you, Skull, for this first one. This is probably my second favorite base location. This is a legitimate hole, by the way. Uh, there's nothing crazy about this. You can build inside of this hole. It's absolutely insane. Uh, just so you can see the cords. I'll go ahead and drag this guy down here. We're going to be needing him. Uh, the cords are 44.6, 78.1, and it's just a monstrous, amazing base location. You, there's a lot of stuff in here. You got water that functions as actual water, which is just bonkers, and it's got a huge amount of room. Now, here's the best part. It's unrateable. Now, a lot of people are going to be like, everything's rateable. Well, first off, you've got a nice little choke point right here. But in order to actually get inside of this base location, you've got this next little choke point. And then behind this, you have a small area that you can get in with a pteranodon, and that's about it. So you could load this thing up with turrets, and it's just an absolutely insane little technique. So there you go. That's what it looks like from underneath. And I'm going to go ahead and go up inside this thing just so you can see. And then we'll move on to the next one. I won't spend too much time because there's lots of designs. I'll build some designs and stuff like that, how you can easily defend this base. But uh, this is an absolutely insane spot. You can get up here with a pteranodon. Um, but there are a few different ways up so you can see. This is obviously one of them. But you can kind of drop down. There's lots of ways um, to defend this, which is just insane. So... Anyways, this is an awesome spot. Pteranodon is how you can get up here without a tech suit, but this is kind of like the cords, and I'll show you again. 44.1, 78.3. These are the cords of it. Uh, we're going to go ahead and go on to our next spot and then kind of go from there. Now, the next one is more of a rat hole solo player spot than anything else, and the cords, CCC, just so you can see it right there. Boom, let's go ahead and teleport there. And we are at 44.678.9. And basically you're inside of the actual zone. I don't know if you want to call it the aberrant zone. It's like the outside of it. And if you come up over here, uh, you can see that there's a little tuck away hidden area you can go to that's pretty amazing. Um, and you basically just drop down in this little hole right here. Now you can build in here. Um, you just have to find the right little spot in order to do it. It does say it's obstructed. There's lots of different things you can do. If you're on an unofficial server, this is more of your spot. But even just like hiding a tame or two down in here, this is a pretty awesome little hidden area that you can go to. Again, not it's probably 21 out of my 22 favorites so far, but it's a cool little spot. Now, we're going to go ahead and move on to something that is it's very common over in this zone. And this is a very awesome little ledge. Now, you can see around me, this is highly, highly defendable. Um, this ledge right here, I'm inside the wall actually right here, but you get the point. Um, so you can actually see this ledge right here. It's hidden by a whole bunch of different like leaves and all kinds of stuff right here. Um, you can basically get up on this ledge and put some pretty neat little locations down. It would be very hard to find you up in here and really kind of difficult to get to if you built some decent defenses up in here. This is more of like a one, two, three, four maybe four player area because you got enough room to grow and it's a nice little ledge that you can build on cords just so you can see it 45.9 78.8 and it's a pretty awesome little spot um, and that's just kind of you know that's kind of that for you it, it opens up into the bottom side of this so it's close to a lot of these other ones but it's a nice little area to go into so it's a pretty neat one so let's go ahead into our fourth little area here now this one Oh boy. Just so you can see. Uh, this area is quite amazing as well. It's a it's a nice little area. It's a big side of the mountain. Okay. So you've got like this huge entrance on this side. However, this thing kind of tucks away back inside of a small little corner. 
Now, a lot of people are like, oh, this is raidable. Yeah, but I mean, you could put a bunch of defenses on the outside, and there is no way. So if you get like a little mini death wall right here, you're looking for a smaller tribe, obviously, over on this little ledge. Pretty defendable. Not much you can do from that angle, and as long as you have some decent defenses, you're pretty safe in this little corner over here, and it's hard to find you. Again, that's the point of these. Hard to find. Again, lower on my list, but still a pretty amazing base spot. 41.7. 76.0 on the actual map just so you can see it it's a nice little hidden area now i got another ledge location for you i'll leave those ccc cords up so you can pause it and kind of check those out so we're gonna go ahead and transport to this one right here now this is a nice little solo player ledge series there's a whole bunch of little ledges right in this zone that you can take over cords 40.6 74.0 and I'll kind of like hover around here so you can see, but this is a nice big ledge mixed with this one right here. And there's a little tiny one that you could just stay hidden for quite a while in up here. Just plop down some stuff right here. Obviously I'm obstructing it, but you can plop down some foundations right up here. And it would be really hard to notice a solo or maybe a duo tribe up in this zone because, well, no one's really gonna come up here to look for you unless they're really looking for a troll or something like that. So you could easily build your base up in here and these three little ledges, it's like a triple ledge combination and you could put some, in the long run, this could probably be an even bigger base spot because these ledges over here kind of get pretty large um, and they kind of have a little bit of cover from the different sides and uh, you've got a lot of potential in this zone. So you can kind of see that I'm kind of crawling away back in here and uh, this little rat hole right here is amazing so yeah not a bad little spot uh, this rat hole just so you can see the coordinates of it 41.0 73.5 and it kind of just tucks back and away and you got to crouch obviously so that makes this almost unrateable if you put a couple of turrets down in there and uh, this little combination could be a really good overall base spot in all honesty um, cords 40.7 73.6 and just so you can see I can place this down um, so it's pretty cool this is on official settings so I've got nothing specialized on that so let's go ahead and go to this next one right here now this one is really interesting this is another rat hole uh, it, it's a good sized base location um, and it's got some serious potential so this guy right up in here cords 40.3 73.7 uh, you can see where I am I'm kind of above the similar area we're gonna go up in here and you've got like a little hidden bait hello tech parasaur that just spawned in okay uh, but you've got like a nice little hidden area and uh, lots of room just an excessive amount of room uh, I'm in GCM so I can't actually crawl so let's get out of GCM and it doesn't like that there's just an infinite number of oh my goodness sometimes it's such a pain in the butt gcm and we'll crawl under here now you literally have to crawl to get under this and you can do it you can also do the pass out method where you go under this Ooh, voice crack and uh obviously as you can see nice little rat hole back in there and uh this is a huge area that would be amazing to i don't know even even a small tribe of like five or six players could easily 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 hold this it would be almost impossible to raid this guy uh, pretty awesome little spot 40.3 73.7 lots of opportunity in here and uh, again there are so many of these when I mean, we are only on spot six so let's keep going um, so this is an amazing little one right here let's move on to the next one this one is more of a solo ledge that we have going here and i'll kind of show you again it's very similar to the ones in the past uh, it's kind of out of the way off to the side of this mountain so it's really hard to spot because it sits behind some of these little structures over here and uh, there's lots of opportunity you can probably duck away in here just a little bit and um, hide just a little bit on this side so it's kind of hard to see you uh, but you can build on this just so you can see it does get obstructed right here but if you're on an unofficial just plop a foundation right there it would be so hard to find you even if someone did land here they'd have to actually see you so that's just one of those things that's kind of crazy in my opinion. So these are the kinds of base locations that I look for when I'm playing. So, oh well. 39.6, 74.8 are the cords of this little kind of ledge spot. And if you put some decent defenses up, it'd be really hard to raid this spot. So that's a, it's another little ledge spot, but you know, 
there are worse. Now the next one's a little bit different. Um, I have a cliff plat ledge, if you want to call it that. So, oh boy, there we go. So up in this area right up here. Now this zone, almost out of the way of everything, nice flat surface down this side, uh, very difficult to access from the other side and hidden by some vines. If you wanted even like a good temporary base location, um, you could easily slap down a cliff platform up in this area and uh, have a really nice base location. So let's see if I can actually get it to place. Um, you saw it go green earlier, so I can you know, literally show you that it's possible. It's just you got to find the right combination, which is always the biggest pain. So uh, you can see that right here. It goes pretty high up. You could easily put like a two by two, even get bigger up in there. Um, hard to see, a little more exposed, but cliff platform bases are very difficult to raid. That's just how they are. I mean, raiding something high up in the sky is not easy. If you think about tech drakes and stuff like that, you just have to think about how they could hit your base. But because it's so flat right there, really hard to hit this corner. And it's really not easy to find because it's kind of out of the way in a dark corner. So as long as you don't draw attention to yourself, you could easily slap down a cliff platform up here and use a couple of the building techniques to actually get something down up in here um, to actually build here. So that's kind of neat. Uh, amazing little spot. Again, the chords of this, 42.8, 77.3. Now, again, here's another one inside of a crystal zone. This is another one of those kind of small locations that I like a lot. It's it's really flat and uh, it, it's hidden. It's really, really hidden. There's a whole bunch of like little cliff platforms down below. But if you look beneath this thing, I'll kind of show you what I mean, please. Thank you. It's kind of difficult to see that this is there if you're not paying attention because you see I am way up in this little zone right here. You see the crystals, you see all that kind of stuff. And at the edge of this, there's a nice little platform. Now this platform, again, small tribe, probably maybe one, two or three people, very hidden, 46.2, 77.6. It is an awesome spot. Uh, lots of opportunities up in here. You've even got some smaller zones like this one right over here nearby. Uh, and these little pockets like this are great for small solo tribes. So you can kind of just, you know, have a little base back in there uh, that you want to stay hidden with. Always easy, but that's kind of just how they work. So there's the chords of it again for you so you can see that. And then we have one more cliff platform location before we start getting some really cheeky locations. And this guy. So at the tippy top of this area, you can kind of place some really neat cliff foundations. Now, as you can see, I've got the ability. I just need to find the actual location where you can place one. And I'm sure you'll be able to do much better than I am. I'm kind of just building as I go here. Uh, above this crystal, making it very hard to raid. Just so you can see. Yep, there's the crystal right there. Above that, 44.677.1. There's a lot of different combinations that you can use, but very difficult to hit this base. It's at the tippy top, so you could build a nice little defensive network up here. Another cliff platform base, so people aren't necessarily going to be looking for you because there's no platform to give you away. So you'd have to like kind of see you with turrets, and you could easily hang down some chandeliers. So pretty easy to do, pretty easy to defend, and uh, awesome little spot. Now, let's go to another rat hole. Now, this is an amazing little guy. Uh, easy to find. Oh, boy. Got to load it in. Yeah. So you can see that I'm in it right now. Now, 51.2, 80.3 is the center of this thing. Uh, it's got a lot of room in here. Tons of different areas to look around. You can see where I am. Uh, nothing super special about this other than the fact that it's really hard to get to. Um, so I'm just, like, running around to show you the different areas. But... Obviously, as you can see, this is how you get up down in here. And just like that. Now, the actual entrance to this rat hole, just so you can see it, 51.0, 80.6. And it's an amazing little spot. Uh, you can kind of see it's way up off the ground. It's up on this ledge. And then you got to look up to get inside of this thing. But you can kind of see, go to the edge over here. Not able to get up there. So there's only one way up and in this thing, and that's up through that almost invisible hole right up in here. There's one more even better than this. I'd rank this in the top five, probably. 
of the base locations over on the floating islands. Uh, but it's a pretty neat little zone. Obviously highly, highly, highly defendable. Um, and, and it's really just a nice little hidden area. You could easily put a bunch of stuff up in here, making it almost impossible to raid. And here's the other entrance kind of from this because it's technically a mesh hole. Um, so this isn't even really an entrance. You see what I'm talking about? So it's technically a mesh hole. That's what I'm saying. So a lot of these things aren't actually the best. Uh, because they will probably get fixed, I would assume. But for the time being, it's a great little spot to go. Uh, so the cords that I'm at, I'll kind of enter this one more time so you can see. But 51.2, 80.3 is the center of this thing. And then in order to actually get to it, you have to actually go down into the little zone. Um, and if you go up, you obviously end up in the mesh, which is not a good thing. You do not want to do that. So be careful about that. But the center of this thing totally usable for the time being you just have to get up through this little zone right here and cords 51.1 80.6 and that is the zone my friends nice little rat hole but oh well now here's another hidden cliff for you coming up next there is the player position that we're going to go to and boom what did it really just not work for me really you're just just not going to work oh well that one doesn't work, so we'll kind of pass on that because you can see that I just end up right at the bottom here. Sometimes that happens. So here's the next one that we're going to skip over that. So 21, I guess, technically. This is the biggest rat hole that's actually a mesh hole that I have ever seen in any game. Now, if you go too far in this one, you will get teleported into oblivion. You will die. So see this green stuff? As soon as you get past this green, goodbye. See you later. But let me go ahead and show you what's in here. So there is an entrance, the cords that I'm at, 51.7, 77.1. And uh, just so you can see, there is a tiny little entrance. Yeah. Tiny little entrance. I found this one accidentally when I was just meshing through the island and found that cavern and then just stumbled into that. Uh, but if you look right here, 52.0, 77.4, you'll look straight up. You see this little tiny, tiny, tiny ledge. You can fit a pteranodon in here or just, you know, a person in a tech suit. And you can kind of use this area that's green. As soon as you get past that, it's technically mesh, though, and you will get killed. So you want to be careful. You can only go so far into this one. However, if you're on a server that has the mesh rules and stuff turned off, this is a monster of a base. You can go up there. You can get all the way back in here. There's water access for you. There is even more. This thing is absolutely monstrous. Look at this. This is probably my favorite one because it does have a kill zone. You have to be careful in it. Um, but on unofficial or official servers, this is a pretty beastly little location because there's a lot that you can do, a lot of different pathways you can take. I mean, you can literally go up under the mesh over here. But I mean, this is more of a mesh hole, so I'm probably going to hope they fix most of this. I mean, even just cutting it off at one tiny little aspect, like cutting it off right here would be fine because then you're not technically meshing and just leaving it like a little gargantuan base of justice, if you want to call it that. Um, yeah, this thing is just insane. This base is pretty neat. I mean, I think this is my favorite because you've got a lot of room to kind of hide things in here. Uh, but this mesh hole is insane. Like, this is the only entrance. So, yeah, not too shabby. Uh, pretty big spot in general, and it only has that little entrance, so pretty cool. So that's probably my favorite overall. It'll probably get patched really quickly, though, which is not a bad thing. They're fixing the game. So the next one we're going to is another little hidey hole that we're going to check out, and that... Oh boy, it's right over here. Now this little hidey hole is just inside of one of the smaller mountains that a lot of people aren't going to really go to because it's got nothing special on it. They're not going to focus on it at all. So it's got a nice little turn in here, right here. Now this would be a really hard spot if you just needed to set up a small thing for, I don't know, a couple of days, a couple of weeks, small tribe, anything. It's going to be really hard to see you if you use caution, put all your tames away and stuff like that when you log off. Even kind of just like, finagle your way around in here easy to build 53.2 75.2 and uh, it's a really nice little location obviously again we're talking about hidden smaller tribe stuff not really 
uh, anything super OP, but pretty awesome still. So another one. This is the mini cliff. Um, I call it this because it's like right on the outsides uh, and it is towards the actual volcano. You can see that giant little gem that kind of hides you right there and boom, tiny little cliff, really hard to see. Uh, you'd have to have someone directly looking at you, at you from any angle. You can kind of hide from it using these vines and this right here. Uh, nice little defendable area because if you look at this, it's a nice flat surface, hard to notice. So someone, I mean, you'd have to give your position away by kind of getting big, but I mean, small, maybe one, two or three people could fit on this ledge. And uh, again, pretty good little spot. 53.4, 70.9, amazing little mini cliff base. And that's kind of, you know, that. Now here's the one, it's kind of like a little mini tree base that we're going to do now. And this CCC cord there, you can see it. And this one is kind of funky. So inside of the artifact cave, you can see that I can build in here. If you are a small tribe, a solo player, anything like that, you'll do anything to hide. Now, if someone hasn't already blocked off this entire cave, which is possible on most servers, uh, you can hide inside of a little tiny tree on ground, out of the way of everything. Not really easy to locate. You can kind of see back in this corner back in there. 48.8, 74.1, uh, and it's totally buildable, you can see right there and uh, you can build a nice little tucked away hidden base nice and dark so no one can even see that it exists now chords of this 48.9 74.1 and this is inside of the actual uh, how do i say this properly inside of the artifact cave i think it's the pack that's in here um, and it's a nice little hideaway corner and a lot of our other little bases are kind of going to be in this zone whether they're in this cave or not so Let's go ahead and show you some of them. They're pretty crazy. Now, this next one requires tech because you're going to need vacuum. Now, this base is crazy, in my opinion. You've got a huge spot back in here against a hard wall, literally stuck in this little corner, and a tiny tube. Now, this tube, just so you can see it, now let me go back here and show you the cords of it so you can kind of see where we're going. 48.6, 74.3. And it's an amazing spot. So you can kind of get back in there and uh, it's all underneath inside of this cave. So if you had some good vacuum seals and stuff like that and a good little turret design, you could easily hold this off because it's only got this tiny little entrance and that's kind of hard to hit, especially if you were clever with how you did things. Um, really hard to even know this is here. You'd have to like accidentally fall in this water and then accidentally notice that something was back there. Uh, really kind of hard to notice. So kind of a sweet little spot. It's right next to the dragon. Chords to enter it, 48.3, 74.6. Now that's a more advanced one, obviously, but oh well. Um, now here's another one, uh, Artifact Cave again. And this is like an invisible little location that you are talking a different level of hiding. Um, assuming someone hasn't blocked this area off on your server, uh, you can do this on unofficial. I don't know if you can place something down on official up here, um, but you can actually do this on unofficial. So this is a little bit more of an unofficial base location and uh, you can kind of slap something down up in this little hidey hole. Again, inside the artifact cave, if you go up above the dragon and into this corner, really hard to find you a small one, maybe two people could work out of that. Uh, 48.0. 73.7 really awesome little spot now very close to this another platform i'll show you this much larger uh, this is for a larger tribe that can probably want to hold off this entire area or at least just not let anyone know you're here you've got that up there and you've got this over here on this side now would be kind of difficult if you didn't take both these places but you've got two very difficult to raid flat platforms with not much stuff on the sides. And because it's so flat on these things, you can build some pretty neat designs with some natural cover. Um, and these guys are pretty nice because again, the only stairs way up is right over here. And you gotta kinda go a long winding pathway up and your back is totally covered. And the only way up really, if you put a nice defensive point right here, it'd be really hard to hit these two zones. So, but if you wanna stay a little more hidden because you have less people, this cliff is probably for you over here. Harder to reach, so you're, someone's going to have to actually go out of their way to come after you over here. 
And there's also a few more little like mini cliffs back in this zone. Just so you can see, we're going to go back to this zone right over here. And again, you're way out of the way, which is the point of a base like this. And uh, you can see you can build back in here. Boop -ba -doo. Just like this. No one's ever going to know you're here if you don't give your position away. So you can build right here. Nice little hidden base. Also a larger side base on that side. 47.6. 73.6. Pretty awesome little spot. Now, um, I have one that's very... I think we may have accidentally gone over it, but oh well. You know, we're just going to show you a lot of different spots. So this little ledge up here. This is another hidden ledge right next to the artifact cave, um, pretty close to it. You can see me on the outside of it right here. A little hidden mini ledge with a tiny little way to get inside of this. There is a way to get inside of this. I accidentally did it. Uh, you can probably knock yourself out to get in there, but you can go back in there. I'll kind of show you real quick what it looks like. Cheat ghost, and boom. You can see tiny little hidey hole. Tiny, not very big. There's not much room in here at all. You'd have to like knock yourself out to get in here probably or use a chair method. Those are always uh, pretty good methods in order to get back into zones like that. But you got a tiny little cliff hidden. Um, I should probably change the time of day now that I think about it so you guys can actually see what's going on. But this base spot, pretty awesome. Again, small, easy to hide. And again, during the daytime, no one's going to have any idea you're back in there. So kind of got to like wiggle your way around to get in there. 48 point. 74.7 awesome little spot now I got one more area for I guess two more technically this one is one of my favorites it's a little water hidey hole um, it's very similar to the one that we saw earlier you're gonna need some tech even I guess if you don't have tech put down a foundation smithy and underwater capable stuff right there and this is inside the actual rock drake cavern you cannot see through this water because it is like floating, whatever you want to call it, difficult to see, smoky, um, you can't see through this water. So if you come down to the cords, 45.8, 73.5, you'll see some water here. At the bottom of this, hard to see for a second, you get down to the bottom, take a quick little turn, and there's a little hidden cove back here. Now, if you just slap down one or two foundations and start this as like your grind pad area, no one's going to know you're here unless they're checking for it. So that'd be really difficult to actually find in general. Pretty awesome little spot. Uh, so neat little zone. So hope that helps you out. So that's at 45.9, 73.8. Now this next spot, this is a enormous base location. Another rat hole. Really difficult to raid this one. There's those CCC for you and you can see where we are. Now, this zone is pretty awesome. It's hidden very well. The entrance to it, 45.7, 74.9. Now, just like the other ones, there's a crystal to indicate that you're here. Very difficult to see. This one looks like it's just a little cliff ledge. However, you've got like a little slide point right here where you can get like a foundation and kind of put some stuff down in here. But where it really excels is up in here. Now I think this one will probably get fixed as well because this is really overpowered. Um, you can get up technically right there as well. Uh, but this area is ginormous back in here. You can fit a very large tribe in here with some decent breeding and have everything that you need not far away at all. No entrance points except for those two. Uh, basically unraidable if you have some decent defense ability. Um, because again, the only way's up, around a corner, or through this hole. Now this one is much easier to get to, obviously, you can kind of see, I'll show you this little patch right there, 45.5, 75.1, you just slide your way up there, and you are good to go. Now, I'm sure there will be tons more little rat hole locations and things that people find. I kind of just tried to point out some of the ones that are larger, easier to build in, or will keep you hidden. So anyways, if you enjoyed the video, make sure you leave a like or comment below. Let me know. And uh, other than that, really hope that this helps you out. And uh, if you're enjoying the content, subscribe to the channel. It'd be awesome. Hopefully it helps. Teach. Ow.